Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about chapter number 16, which is integration. This is a part of MSAT Achieve Math Test Algebra, and this will be the last chapter in the series of Algebra. So here, I'm going to brief you about a possible type of questions can be asked in exam and how do we use a calculator to solve those. If you have not gone through my previous videos, please follow the link given in the description box below and you can watch them all. And also, please like, share and subscribe to my channel so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Chapter number 16 here is integration. The first question here is evaluate integral from 2 to 3 x cube minus 5x square by x dx. These type of integrals are called definite integrals as you know the limit of integration from 2 to 3. So what we need to do? Just need to type the given expression as it is in the calculator with an integral function you will be getting answer. As long the integral range has been given, take help of calculator. So where it is, you can find the button integral that below the alpha on other calculator you might find somewhere else but please see the notation for integral here integral of dx press it up and type the equation given as it is so type it as x cube that is alpha x to the power 3 minus 5 alpha x square by x that is by divided by alpha x from where to where we have to integrate the lower limit for integration is 2 and upper limit of integration is gonna be 3 2 to 3, just press it equal, you get answer as negative 37 by 6. So, which is matching with option number C. So, this is how, regardless of the what equation, what expression, as long you know the lower limit and the upper limit of integral, take help of calculator, you'll get answer. It is not necessary, this is the polynomial or rational expression. It could also be a trigonometric functions or any type, do it in this way, all right? Question number two here is find integral of 1 by sine square x dx. Basically, this is the integration of trigonometric functions. And there are six trigonometric functions or ratios we can say you must be familiar with in exam, which are those sine, cos, tan, secant and the cosecant. You should be very thorough with the derivatives of these six trigonometric functions and also their integrals. And you also need to be very clear with how do we represent one function in another. Here they are asking us, it is an indefinite integral here. I can't take help of calculator because the ranges has not given. I have no values to substitute from here to here. You know, as long there is no values as given, these type of integrals are called indefinite integrals. Okay, so here I can't solve by using a calculator. I have to do it manually or by applying the rules. So to answer to this question, I need to know that, you know, cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sine theta. 1 by sine theta can also be written as cosecant theta. So here you can see that 1 by sine square theta is there. So we can rewrite this expression as integral of 1 by sine square theta can be written as cosecant square x dx. Now what is the integral of cosecant square x dx? If you remember the derivative and their integral relation, this is equivalence to negative cotangent x plus c. For indefinite integral, always we write plus c because that c is representing some constant. You might be learned at school, okay? Integral of cosecant square x dx is negative cotangent x plus c. So we go with option d. Question number three is, which of the following is the solution to the differential equation shown below where y of 2 equals to negative 2 and the differential equation here they are given is dy by dx is equals to 4x by y. This question is about a differential equations and you might be learned that how do we get an equation from the, this differential equation? You need to follow the two steps. The first step is separate like terms. So how do we do that? Separate the like terms meaning bring all y related term on the left side and all x related term on the right side. So in this case, we need to do cross multiplications. The first step is always separate the like terms. When you do cross multiplication, then your expression becomes y dy is equals to 
4 x dx this is the first step what we supposed to do while finding equations for the differentials now the second step is integrate on both the sides whatever we got you have to integrate it so how do we do that integral of y dy equals to integral of 4x dx now while integrating it you can apply a simple rule which is the power rule let me remind how the power rule of integral works integral of let's say x to the power n dx will be written as x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c it is an indefinite integral i'm writing plus c here so what actually we are doing whatever the power of a variable add 1 to it divided by this power plus 1 and write the constant at the end so here power of y here is 1 power of x here is 1 so let's apply in the same way integral of y square y um, integral of y is gonna be y square divided by 2 because y to the power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 so i get it as y square by 2 equal to integral of 4 x is gonna be 4 x square by 2 plus c so let's simplify this further it's gonna be y square by 2 equals to 2 times 1 2 times 2 it's gonna be 2 x square plus c so whatever the answer i'm gonna go answer should be uh, like you know y square by 2 is equals to 2x square plus c i need to find what is the value of c so i don't know what would be the value for it so by referring to this i can get rid of option c and option d answer may be either a or b as i don't know whether the value of c is positive or negative so i need to take the help of this the purpose of giving y of 2 equals to negative 2 meaning when the value of x is gonna be 2 so the result the value of y is gonna be negative 2 take help of those and substitute here and solve for c by the way this is the equation so here i need to know the value of c so let's substitute that it's gonna be minus 2 square by 2 is equals to 2 times 2 square plus c minus 2 square is 4 4 by 2 is equals to 2 equals to 2 square is 4 4 times 2 is gonna be 8 plus c now to solve for c take this uh, 8 to the other way around then c is equals to 2 minus 8 that is equals to minus 6 i got a value of c is uh, minus 6 then your final equation becomes y square by 2 is equals to 2x square minus 6 so that is matching with option a y square by 2 equal to 2x square minus 6 so it can also be rearranged okay so by taking y as a uh, like you know other side by doing cross multiplication in that case it could also be written as y square is equals to 4x square minus 12 or y is equals to square root of 4x square minus 12 okay that also possible but here y square is equals to 4x square minus 6 it is not minus 12 which is wrong only the first term got multiplied if you do cross multiplication that's why we eliminated this the right choice what we left here is option a so that is how you answer the questions related to it Whenever there is a definite integral, regardless of the type of question, take help of calculator and also memorize the uh, integral formula for trigonometry, differential equations, how do we work, please work on those. This can be really help you to ace the MSAT. All right. With this one, we complete the MSAT algebra series. Very soon, I'll start uploading about the geometry. Then we go into the statistics. All right. All the best then. See you guys soon. Thank you.